Today we will be demonstrating how to make parchment paper cones, sometimes referred to as cornet or cornet bags. This small paper cone is ideal for piping chocolate. It can also be used for piping other mediums such as buttercream, royal icing, ganache, and some dessert sauces. This is an absolutely necessary skill to develop for working in a pastry kitchen as the need for piping with a paper cone will most likely happen every day at some point. Starting with a full sheet of parchment paper, you can cut the paper to make either two, four, or eight parchment cones depending on your application. Today we will be making eight small paper cones. First, fold the paper in half, making a sharp crease. Next, position the paper near the edge of the table and slice the paper with a knife, ensuring the blade is flush to the table with the handle off of the edge. This will keep the edge of a knife at a 90 degree angle, allowing for a clean, precise cut. After making this cut, turn and fold the paper, and again, create a sharp crease. Repeat the process of making a clean, precise cut with the knife edge at 90 degrees flush against the table. The final cut is the most crucial as this will be the edge that will be the tip of the parchment cone. Folding the paper diagonally, create a 90 degree right angle in the top corner as seen here. Create a sharp crease to ensure precise cut. We now have eight evenly cut papers ready to be folded into parchment cones. Starting with the longest edge facing away from you and the point facing towards yourself, roll the left corner creating a point at 12 o'clock. This is the tip of the parchment cone. Next, wrap the right corner halfway around, pulling that point towards the point that is facing you. The cone is nearly finished. Make small adjustments with your fingers to ensure the point is completely closed and the inside of the cone is completely open. To complete the cone, we will fold the tails inwards inside the bag. Finally, make one more small fold inward to lock the cone in place to prevent unraveling. Let's take a look at the entire process again in real speed. The parchment cone is now ready to use for the desired application.